close to minimum wage. Yeah, he's, he's in the middle of something. Here. Just, just real <laughs> um, um, Republicans are hoping to take the Senate. Obviously, you hope to retake the House, um, and you hope the Senate stays Democrat. But if that does happen, um, there will be the question of how much President Obama will be willing to deal with the Republican Congress. Okay, you know and what, you're just highly speculative now as, as to who's going to win what and what the president will do. You, you had the obverse of this in 07 and 08. And I was just wondering, what is your take on the president's willingness to deal on issues like the ACA or entitlements or taxes? Should that happen? Now, I'm going to yield to you on this, but let me just say, when we had the obverse of this in 06, 07, and 08, when President Bush was president, we worked with President Bush on many issues and passed very significant bipartisan legislation that was signed by him. We opposed him in the war in Iraq, most Democrats did, and we definitely all opposed him on privatizing Social Security. But apart from that, we passed the biggest energy bill in the history of our country. Some of the authorities uh, from that bill are enabling President Obama uh, uh, to ha make some administrative um, decisions that are very helpful to, uh, to the American people. A. B. We, we, the Democrats, worked with President Bush to pass the TARP legislation, probably the worst vote members ever had to take, most unpopular, most, but very necessary. Uh, we passed legislation working with him uh, that uh, that talked about the low income tax credit that took uh, 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 gave made it refundable all the way down to the poorest working people in our country. Uh, we worked with him on HIV AIDS. He wanted PEPFAR. We wanted big PEPFAR, uh, and we got that. And I think that's an important part of President Bush's legacy. We tried to work with him on immigration, but his own party walked away from him on that. So this, what you're seeing now with the Republicans not being willing to work with the president is highly unusual. I've never seen anything quite like that. On the other hand, President Obama has all along extended the hand of friendship to the Republicans. And recently, as the State of the Union on the subject of the immigration bill, willing to work with the speaker, all these many months later, but respectful of the speaker's role in bringing a bill to the floor. So this is about as nonpartisan president as I've ever served with under. And I, I think that uh, uh, his record of wanting to be cooperative. But you know what the Republicans say back. Nothing is our agenda that we want to work with you on and never is our timetable. Uh, that's really basically what we have seen from them. So it's a two-way street. But uh, this president is, as I say, some would say maybe should be a little more uh, partisan, but that's not who he is, and that's why the public uh, respects him so, and uh, so that's what I think you'll see from him as a level corporate. But I'm not even stipulating to the fact that he's going to be working with the Republican Congress. So you, you have a hypothetical on top of a hypothetical on top of a hypothetical, and um, uh, it sort of was a political question, don't you think? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, just on the minimum wage um, 